What's happening, everybody? It's been a while. The Carlisle Chuck Nationals came and went. Had some other things pop up, but we're back. And today's topic is the Trailblazer PO420. Now, we're not talking about the good kind of 420, you know what I mean? We're talking about PO420 for catalytic converter efficiency. Now, I'll be honest with you, the PO420 diagnostic is probably one of the biggest scams out there. Basically, you know what I mean? You go into the shop with your check engine light on, you know, you pay the 90 to $105 diagnostic charge, and all Cletus does, he plugs in his code reader and pulls up PO420 and tells you you need a catalytic converter. So what exactly happens with this PO420? Well, let's take a look down here at my O3. Right off the exhaust manifold here, you have your upstream heated oxygen sensor. The piping for the exhaust goes down to that big thing right there. That big right that big thing right there is your catalytic converter. Now, I'm not really set up right now to jack the truck up or whatever, so you're just going to have to take your buddy's word on this. But on the other side of this catalytic converter, there's another one of these oxygen sensors. Now, one of the things that happens is, is that the PCM is actually going to compare those two sensors to determine how well the catalytic converter is actually cleaning um, the byproducts of combustion out of the exhaust. Um, I don't know. It just it's just one of those things that really just I see it on the forums and I just you know makes my blood boil a little bit you know if you're going to charge the hundred and five dollars to tell someone that they need a catalytic converter you should actually test it to make sure that that's the problem now in these trucks I gotta admit statistically yes the catalytic converter is the problem for PO420 there's outside of a I don't know cracking the exhaust or something crazy or a bad PCM you know, that probably is the probably is the problem, but here's the deal. Now it's bad enough that the catalytic converter itself from the dealer is probably seven, eight hundred bucks. Now outside of California, they do have aftermarket converters available that are hit and miss as far as their reliability compared to OEM. Personally me here, I only put in OEM. At my work, they only put in OEM. In California, well, there's no aftermarket converters that are CARB certified, so you have to get OEM. So, right away, just for the stupid converter itself and its precious metals inside, you know, you're looking at like $800. And a lot of times with high mileage trailblazers like my O3, they're going to suggest replacing both oxygen sensors at the same time as well. Now you're in it for over, I'd say probably over $1,100 in parts. And to top it all off, they want to charge you $105 for plugging in a fucking scan tool and pulling up, pulling up a PO420 code. Now when I get them here, I don't guess. Now I'm going to take you back. Um, the other week my buddy stopped by with his O2 Envoy. I'm going to show you what I did. And this is uh, some of the footage from me determining that his catalytic converter was failing. Alright, we got this 2002 GMC Envoy. And the problem is, check engine lights on with PO420. So I'm going to show you guys just what I do for a preliminary uh, 420 check. Without the tool, you're kind of limited on what you can do. What we're going to do is just graph the two O2 sensors before and after the cat. So it might be hard to see on this. You can see the one with the little tiny lines is the downstream O2. The solid line is... The upstream so as it's everything's warmed up now you can see that the downstream is just basically a, a match to upstream and what that's saying is is that the converter isn't doing squatch like I was just telling my buddy here you know the tool that you might have if you're trying just to watch the voltage changes of the O2s you know the refresh rate might not be fast enough for you to even catch it on your scan tool so you might say hey well, everything looks good you know on my tool but you know, without actually a live plot graphing it, you know, it's it's just a guess. You know, it's pretty safe to say that this thing is shot, which, I mean, the truck's only got like 30,000 miles on it, right? 186,000. <laughs> oh, 186,000. I was off by a couple miles. So, yeah, in this case, the fix is going to be replacing the converter. Which, fortunately, they're not that expensive. I think they're only like, you know, 60 bucks or something on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> no. 700 at the dealer. Yeah, I believe it. So you can see, you need you need special tool. Now the Tech 2 isn't the only tool that can graph 
you know, both oxygen sensors at the same time so you can compare them. I think the Snap-1 Modus does it, the Varus does it, maybe the Macro Scan tool does it too, but I have the Tech 2 and that's what I showed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and show you some footage from me graphing the O2 sensors in my O3 with a, safe to say, known good catalytic converter. So I'm going to roll that shit now. Alright, so I'm here in my O3. We're going to go ahead and fire the truck up while we're doing the same uh, graphs on the upstream and downstream O2 sensors. So let's see what this thing does. So you can see now that my O3 is warmed up, you know, the O2 patterns are a little bit different. They don't match each other. And this is what I consider to be normal, which is evident by the lack of a PO420 here in my O3. I hope you guys can see that on the finished product. It's, it's really tough to get a good look at that with the glare of the, the tool itself. Now my normal charge for doing this at home the PO420 diagnosis, you know, just going this far, it's about 30 bucks. You might say, well, wait a minute. All you're doing is plugging in a tool and watching some squiggly lines for a couple minutes. Well, without this tool, I wouldn't be able to do it. And this tool, it, to me, isn't, you know, just like most technicians, their tools are investments. You gotta make a little something back, you know, for using it. So there you have it. Now you've seen a good catalytic converter, so to say, and a failing catalytic converter, so to say. I'll be damned if I'm just going to plug in my scan tool and say you need a catalytic converter based on a stupid code number. I mean that's just retarded. I mean y'all seen even on the PO340 it's a $26 sensor that probably was the problem but without the data I'm not replacing shit. You know what I mean? The thing is is that I don't want to see you guys get screwed even if I'm not doing the work. You know what I mean? That's one of those cases where you're not getting what you paid for. You know you're paying for a you know an adequate diagnosis you know you're paying for someone to tell you exactly what's wrong and that's based on data observation you know getting pulling pulling up a code and saying this is definitely what's wrong it's just that's wrong the whole reason of this video you know it's it's definitely not a fixed video now if I do get one here that does need a catalytic converter replaced I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it but the amount of posts that I've read and stuff and you know people talking to me about you know their experiences with different shops you know has, has really inspired me to make this video you know you know like I said out there you know I don't want to see you guys getting hosed on a diagnostic charge you know there's a difference between plugging in a scan tool and 30 seconds later telling you what's wrong with your truck as opposed to you know collecting data seeing the failure and saying look you know let's put in a catalytic converter you know and that's it now, I know that there's some technicians out there that watch my videos and shit, so I'm going to address this, that this comparing O2 sensors is only for this truck. That's all. We're only talking about the i6 Trailblazer right now. So before you guys say, whoa, wait a minute, what if you have air fuel metering things, or what about flash updates? I've checked. There isn't any flash updates for this truck. This doesn't have air fuel metering. You know, I know, I know this is all about do-it-yourself, and you guys aren't going to be able to do this stuff yourself necessarily. But like I said, this is more of an informative video, you know, watch out because, you know, there's sharks out there, you know what I mean, they're predators, you know, and they have no problem saying, you're going to have to pay us $105 for me spending five minutes with a scan tool and pulling up a PO420. Actually, it's not even that. To boot up like an Actron, a little Actron tool, it's like a little flash thing. If it boots up in probably 30 seconds, you can have the code in under a minute, you know, so you're paying $105 a minute. I haven't paid $105 a minute since that Japanese call girl, you know what I mean? No, I'm not going to put that in a video. You're not going to put an outtake either? I can't guarantee that because, what can I say? We just turned 800 subscribers today. Thank you everybody for watching my shit and subscribing, you know what I mean? It means a lot to me. Stay tuned because we're going to have the 1,000 subscribers special because there's a lot of shit that I've done on these videos that just weren't really... Um, they weren't really appropriate for anybody. I think some of you guys are going to kick, get a kick out of it. So coming up in the next edition of Mayo 3 LT, you're going to find out what this thing does and how it's relevant to your fuel gauge working. Because I've been getting I've been getting the requests about you know you got to do something about the fuel gauge. What can I do about my fuel gauge? 
Well, we're going to cover it from the actual fuel sending unit all the way up to this little thing right here. So if you like what you see, subscribe to my shit and stay tuned because like I said up next, I'm going to show you what this thing does.